Our Haunted Lafayette series continues here this morning, and today we're actually heading to a local cemetery. News 18's Cody Malin joins us here once again. Cody, it's great to see you here this morning. And as we've learned here this week, there's a lot of history here in Greater Lafayette. I want to know what you learned about Greenbush Cemetery. Yeah, Marley, it's been a lot of fun doing these stories. Wednesday, I focused on the history of Lafayette's historic German neighborhood, but this morning, I want to focus on the lives of those from the 1800s. I do want to give a warning this morning. There are some flashing lights in this story. Take a look. If there is paranormal activity, this would be the epicenter of it in Lafayette. Lafayette's Greenbush Cemetery serves not only as a final resting place. Revolutionary War veterans, Civil War veterans, all the way up to Vietnam. But a glimpse into history. You can go through and see all these figures uh, that are buried here. Something somewhat unique to our area. You know, a lot of cities don't have a centralized urban cemetery like we do, where they can see their city's history over the centuries. Before there was Greenbush Cemetery, many of the bodies were at another location. So the legend is that the first cemetery in Lafayette actually started in a sort of French Miami Wea burial ground. So that was where St. Boniface is now. Now, by the 1840s, it was getting kind of full. City leaders then found property on what was the edge of town at the time, developing it into what is now known as Greenbush Cemetery. Sean Lutz, the president of the Lafayette Historic Preservation Commission, told News 18 with the new cemetery came interest from the community. Many people actually thought, you know, wow, this is such a great place. So they went to St. Boniface, dug up their relatives so that then they could come back to the new digs up here. Some believe that disturbing the rest of the dead could lead to paranormal activity. Some folks in the surrounding neighborhood claim to have witnessed some happenings. People often talk about who lived in the neighborhood, legends of being able to see people walk through here at night, hearing voices, seeing people that they know are dead going through the place. Some of those ghostly apparitions have some strong ties to the area. This is also the home of the grave for William Digby, the city's founder. Another haunting tale recalls a train crash on Halloween of 1864. A bunch of Union soldiers were on a train headed to Chicago and uh, they crashed into another train. It killed, uh, I believe it was about 30 men died, and uh, it was so gruesome that about 17 could not be identified, and they are buried here at Greenbush Cemetery. Once again, showing that Greenbush Cemetery serves not only as a final resting place, but a beacon of Lafayette's history. However, if you do plan to visit Greenbush, there's a, a lot of legends, you know, the legend of Halloween being when the barrier between the world of the living and the dead uh, starts to really thin. Um, so, you know, it's be especially nice to the people in Greenbush Cemetery around Halloween. I will say when I was there, it was a very peaceful experience. Lutz does want to add, though, visiting the cemetery is fine. However, you need to respect both the property and hours of the cemetery being open. Now, the story also marks six years of Haunted Lafayette, and we've got all 15 stories posted on our website, WLFI.com. In studio this morning, Cody Malin, News 18.